Welcome to Inside Cottonwood. I'm Mayor Diane Jones, your host, and we have some really fun and lively guests with guests with us today. And we're going to talk about fun stuff like cartooning and things yes. like that. But we have Ann Roberts, who is a library clerk at the Cottonwood Municipal Library, and we have Jan Mark Quizimbing. Yes, I did it. Yes, all right. <laughs> with us today, who draws cartoons and make car makes cartoons and has a wonderful history. Yes, works with children works with adults and we have a very exciting program and opportunity we do, coming we do. up. So let's just start with Anne. Share a little bit of information about yourself. Well, like you said, I work in the Youth Services Department over at the library, and uh, books and kids and art have always been a passion of mine, and I really uh, love getting all these materials into their hands. We like to do crafts and do art and do science. Um, Comic books are a great way for kids to step into reading. Um, I'm married to a wonderful man who is an aspiring comic artist. This is some of his work over okay. here, including the space helmet that we use for cosplaying. He made that himself, too. So he made this. Yes, he did. So he's just a big kid at heart? <laughs> he's a big kid at heart, which is wonderful, because so right. am I. He keeps life interesting by Absolutely. keeping in your childlike state as Absolutely. often as possible. Mm -hmm. So, Jan Mark, tell me about yourself. Uh, I am a native of New Jersey, and okay. I moved here almost a year and a half ago. and. Um, I attended the Mason Grove School of the Arts at Rutgers University uh, with a graphic design degree, but I love comic books. Mm -hmm. So when I was in college, I drew for my college newspaper, and then I discovered, you know, you, I love drawing, and I put down drawing, had a family, and then picked it up again, and I was like, I want to make comic books. So I met up with a comic book publisher in New York, Pronto Comics. And I became their art director over there, and I moved out to Arizona, and they said, well, hey, since you're gonna be in Arizona, wanna be the West Coast art director, so I am the West Coast art director of Pronto Comics because I moved, I'm the furthest west. Okay, in the, so Pronto Comics. Yes, out, out in New York, and we are um, an independent comic book publisher. We're about five years old. Um, and out here, I met some other comic book artists, and we formed the Northern Arizona Cartoonist Association. Um, and this, we're just a, we're a group of uh, professionals, semi-professionals, who we're trying to help um, foster emerging talent. You have artists who they like to draw, they have things, they have talent, but they just don't know where to go and show their work. So we helped organize an event in October, a Comic Con in Cottonwood, and which went really well. And you know, well, we wanted to try for the spring, and I brought up with Ed, I'm like, would you want to consider doing this as a fundraiser? And um, yeah, April 9 will be the Verde Valley Comic Expo. And it's going to be quite, it's going to be, it's awesome. So I, April 9th coming up at the Cottonwood mm -hmm. Library with Jan Mark and Ann. Mm -hmm. Is your husband going to be My there? husband's going to have a table there, yes. Okay, we're going to have this huge... Um, oh, at the Cottonwood Recreation yes. Center. Right. It's not at the library. It's across the street. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to have this huge event, and it's going to help fund the library's summer reading program. Yes. yes. And so there's a purpose for this, and we want the community, and it's really very inexpensive. Um, I see it, there's a $5 entry fee, uh, $3 if you bring two cans of food. Yes. So, you know, anybody can afford it, anybody can come, and the children under 10 are free. Yes, we definitely want to make sure that the children can come and enjoy um, the cosplayers and the artists, and uh, we have vendors who are going to be bringing all kinds of neat things that the kids can buy, um, and we're going to have forums where uh, if they want to learn more about the industry, they can join a forum and get an insight that they wouldn't get any other way. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to do to prepare for something like this? Um, coffee is good. Coffee Lots and coffee, coffee works coffee and wonders. <laughs> yes, um, coffee. Lots of pie. It's a lot of um, pie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he was mentioning pie. <laughs> it's basically my. I equated to the guy in the circus who's spinning all the plates. Right. So you've got to maintain. I'm like you know following up with the artists who you've invited and letting them know. Hey, you know, will you be able to do the event? Letting um, Vanessa at the library know so and so has committed. You know, they'll be getting you um, their information making sure that the marketing is set up. Um, I do a lot of social media. Like I'm on Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. Instagram. It's a quick way of just going, hi, we're going to be here. We're doing this. You should come. Right. And the more people know about it, the better. Um, I just, I love the idea 
when I moved out here, I didn't think there were other people <laughs> like me out in you this area. You were the only one I, in the I, West. I, I thought I was a unicorn, to be honest, <laughs> a magical unicorn. Right. And um, that I met other artists, and you know, we want to be able to just, you know, what, have something in the area that it's different. You know, it's a mm -hmm. different thing that you don't see every day out over here, um, and it's just. For families, it's you know maybe you can't get all the way down to Phoenix. You know it's a two-hour drive to Phoenix and then a two-hour drive up. Mm -hmm. But if you're in this area, it's a five, ten, fifty-minute drive from you know Clarkdale, Sedona, to the come in. Valley yeah, is and it's, and April. I mean, I've lived through eight, here through April. April's mm -hmm. beautiful. Weather's great. Mm -hmm. So you can go and you know go to the comic book show, enjoy, meet. You can meet artists. You can meet artists who've worked on Guardians of the Galaxy, mm -hmm. um, Deadpool. Mad Magazine, you know, they've written, they've written for all, for the, for the big companies like Marvel Comics, DC Comics. So it's cool to meet the people who you've read their work or seen their art. Mm -hmm. And every time, and I'm, I'm a, I'm grown, I'm a grown man, I still, Love um, comics. I geek out so bad, I'm like, <laughs> oh my goodness, you drew this, this is so cool, could you please sign this for me? And mm -hmm. my son has so many books signed, made out to him, I go, oh, here, you know, here, Nando, you know, keep drawing and stuff. Right. So it's a, it's just a, it's a nice family event. You know, it, that's what, it's something that you can take the family to, have a good time, spend a couple of hours, you know. Um, cos we've invited cosplay groups from uh, down the valley to come up. So it's cool to see. There's Superman walking by. There's Spider-Man. Oh, wow, walking. that's going to yeah, be very interesting. Yeah, it popped out the page. So that's very yeah. cool. So yeah. you're actually going to have people in yes. costume. But right. it really is. It could be the real guy, you know. It, it just it's true. He might I, be climbing I, up the wall, Spider-Man. That'd be kind of impressive. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I would I love to see I think that. there is a rock wall at the Rec Center. So <laughs> yes, yeah. there's a rock wall. <laughs> Spider-Man may take it on, right? Right. And we're also <laughs> encouraging the public to come in costume. We're having okay. a special raffle. We've got a $50 Amazon gift certificate that we're going to raffle off. And people who come in costume are the only ones who are going to get a raffle ticket for okay. that price. Okay. So come dressed up so. in your favorite. Uh, yeah. Spider Man or it's a it's a good Iron test Man. for it's a good Iron test for Man. Halloween. Like try Absolutely. try it out right. in April. If it made it through April, you can get you can do Halloween with it. Exactly. You know, if you can walk in the mass and not walk onto a wall, come on by on April 9th. <laughs> so a, a, a adult can come dressed up or a oh, child yes. can come Everyone. dressed up. Everybody. Though. This is All the most I cosplay is this. Yeah. But um <laughs> But you know, it's it's a nice. It's just it's cool just to see like you know you're just you're walking by and Spider Man walks by you're like that. That's Spider Man, and they do, they do the cosplayers. Um, it's they're very serious about their craft. Yes, you know they can dress. They use, it's always dressing up variations of their favorite character, whether it's from comic books, movies, um, anime, manga, even literary. You know, you could have zombie robot fighting Abe Lincoln. Why mm -hmm. not? The uh, sky's the limit. Everything right. goes. Yes. You know, so this and, uh, should be really. I hope that. It would be great if you could film it, it sounds like. We'd, I'm, we're going to have someone video it. We'll try. We're going to have the <laughs> Teen Library Council helping out, so we'll see if we can get one of them with a video camera. Um, we're going to have the Verde Valley Composite Squadron um, Civil Air Patrol cadets helping out, so we'll, we'll make sure we have some film going on and some cameras taking pictures. And I take pictures. a lot of photos. Of I, love a, I love me a comic book show. <laughs> right, it's, yes. all, it's just so much fun. It's just a fun day. Like I. I'm, go I'm doing an event um, tomorrow in Glendale, and I'm bringing flyers saying, "Hi guys, look, weather's nice. Come on up. It's only, it's only, you know, the entrance fee is only five dollars. Most um, big comic book conventions, it's like a fifty dollar ticket yes. to get in. Right. So, so this is a very, it's very reasonable. affordable, and especially mm -hmm. if you have kids under ten, you mm -hmm. can bring the whole family for less than ten bucks usually, and you can walk around. You can buy, you know, it's a good event. If people just want to start reading comic books, like I learned how to read comic books. I it was a Spider-Man comic book that I mm -hmm. learned how to read. That's you what know. taught you to read, yes, rather than yeah. see, see Jane Run and see Jane see Run. Spot yes. and see Jane Run. You were like Spider-Man, climb yes. the wall. Yes. I remember, like, if I could not be Spider-Man, I wanted to draw Spider-Man, mm -hmm. and then I just started draw. I was a kid who always liked to draw. You were just were born that way. You were just born loving to draw. It's yeah, just within it's just, you. It's and just fun. It's if I don't draw, I get very grumpy if I don't draw during the week. You just it's just, it's your self time. Yes, yeah. Your peace time. Yeah, and it's yeah. me. It's me figuring out how to. Especially, it's always you're learning and you're growing. Um, my biggest um, obstacle is hands. They're hard <laughs> to draw. Are. Which is odd, because unless you're Captain Hook, you have a hand to look at as this you're drawing. This is true. This is true. You have a spare, don't you? Yeah. So yeah. nine or ten times, you're, right. you know, unless you're Luke Skywalker, <laughs> you can you can do it. Right. So, but it's just it's a nice you know relaxing thing, and mm -hmm. I, I approach the Sedona libraries and Conwood libraries, and I've done drawing classes. 
um, for the community, and that's always fun. You see little kids drawing, and then kids are making their own comic books while they're there. And I'm like, good, just keep doing it, because one day maybe you will have this awesome idea for a comic book. Right. You know, and just it's, it starts from there. So when we come back from our break, we're going to take a little break here. We'll talk about what you do. I mean, you work for Pronto, but you have you do other things in the yeah. community. So we'll just kind of okay. uh, ease back in and talk Wonderful. about that. Thank you. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming! We're going biking! Yeah! I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe. How was school today? Hi, Dad. It was great. Okay, honey. I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in. Because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Welcome back to Inside Cottonwood. I'm Mayor Diane Jones, your host, here with Jan Mark Quizimbing, yes. <laughs> all right, and um, Ann Roberts, who's a library clerk at the Cottonwood Library. One of my favorite places in the whole world. Mine and too. And one of the community's favorite places in the whole world. The community um, has supported the library and, uh, you know, voted on a bond issue to fundraise to build the library, which mm -hmm. we did in two phases. Uh, the, the library when I moved here 30 years ago was where the county medical building is now at the end of the, the county building on 6th Street and Mingus. So, yeah. It's and now we're the second largest library in Yavapai County. In Yavapai oh, County. Really? That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just behind Prescott. Right. And it <coughs> serves, um, really, everybody in the Verde Valley comes to this library, and it's on the interlibrary loan system with yes. Yavapai County. So if we don't have a book here in Cottonwood, we can get one from another library. Yes, anywhere in Yavapai County. Right. So we get books from Sedona and Prescott and um, Yavapai Ash College Fork is and, part mm -hmm. of it. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Black Canyon City. So really, there's just almost no book that you can't get. Absolutely. You know, in the system. So well, tell me what is a comic expo? What is that? And then I want to know what a cosplayer is also. Okay. The comic expo is just the event you're having. It's the event that we're having mm -hmm. on April 9 at the rec center. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, it's um, it's almost everything under the sun. You'll have writers, um, artists, and we have a, we've invited several um, vendors from uh, Flagstaff, Cab Comics will be there. Cab um, Comics, okay. Um, Monster Comics uh, coming from uh, Tempe area will be coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, the art store in Prescott will be there. So it's a good way uh, if you if a child wants to just pick up learning some uh, about comic books of their favorite character, they can mm -hmm. buy probably buy books at a very low cost. Um, back issues, they're called back issues, they're mm -hmm. older comics, you can get them um, for a, a good price. Mm -hmm. And just pick up a couple of books and, and learn about a character that you like. Okay, you know what, I do like this character, you know what, I did like going to the store, let me go now to them. Mm -hmm. So they, now they find a place where they can go get their comic books. Um, with our art store, you know, if they have art supplies, someone who likes to draw can pick up a sketchbook and just and pencils and pens and start drawing. That's, um, that's, how I, that's how I started. So there will be some items at the vendor's table for sale. Oh people, yes. People can go and get that sketch they, pad. They can they get could, those ink pens or those yes. those pencils. And they could have they pencils. can make a comic book by the time they get home from the show. All right. So it's, it's a very it's a very it's very inspirational. Like Ooh. when you see like, oh, this person draws this or writes this. Here's a book that I can draw or write something in. Here's a pen. I've now made a comic book. And so, will someone be giving lessons there? We're 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 still figuring out what um, panels to do. I would love to do a cartooning class. Mm -hmm. um, if that's one of the panels, that's what I'm. You know, I'm. 
I volunteer, <laughs> as they say. Um, otherwise, you know, if if again, if they're in, if they're local to the area, they can come by the library on April second for my cartooning class, which is free okay. for everybody. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, I just I. You know, I learned, like I said, I was a child who'd always liked to draw, mm -hmm. and when I moved out here, I just went to the library and said, hi, so I draw comic books. Um, would you ever want to have use for someone like me for the community and for the kids? And so that's, so I usually, we break down, you know, we'll draw hands, we'll draw feet, I'll break down some basics of uh, anatomy. And the goal is if we can draw either a character or a one-page story, comic book story, um, in that time frame, it's great, and the mm -hmm. kids at least get the idea of, oh, this is how you do it. These are what panels are. This is, mm -hmm. you know, this is what a what a splash page is, which is one big action scene, um, usually. But that's what we like to. Um, that's what I, I just. Art is a very important thing to me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes you know that's usually the first thing that's cut at a school is the funding for arts. But like, I, that's how I learned. Like, I I had a great art teacher when I was in high school and grade school and college, and I just I I love drawing. And that that was an inspiration for your life. So yeah. art is good in schools. It's fun, yes. Yeah. Yes. So you know, we talk about um, STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, and the Cottonwood Public Library is part of the the Verde Valley SciTech Festival. But we have been we have been calling it STEAM lately. We've really changed from STEM, mm -hmm. science, technology, engineering, and math, and we've thrown in the A, and it's become STEAM instead of STEM. And that is because we have added the arts. Oh, Because absolutely. the arts are so important to science, technology, engineering, and math. And, and it, it should all be a part of that. But we'll, t we'll talk a little bit about the SciTech Festival lately. But just wanted to say that this was drawn by John Mark mm -hmm. and given to me. So I actually get to go home and read a comic book. Yes. And I'm so excited about that. And excellent work. Thank you. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the adventures of Pogie Boy and Big, <laughs> and Big Brown Monkey. Yes, I am the proud father to Fernando. He's our um, he's six and a half, going on twenty. Okay. <laughs> so he keeps my life very interesting, and I um, I love the comic strip Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and, and Hobbes. And I also love and I love The Far Side by Gary Larson. Yes, The um, Far Side is excellent. Yes, mm -hmm. it, it, it he gets he just gets me. But um, when my son was born, someone had uh, given him a big, a big stuffed big brown monkey, and just it's my love letter, the my comic book of my son and a stuffed big brown monkey. It's my love letter to Calvin and Hobbes. Okay. Because yeah, he has he's full of imagination. The first story, the first actual five page story I ever drew was about my son and his monkey fighting a monster in his bedroom. Okay. And then, <laughs> what and, a story in itself. It's, yes, yeah. and it's all, it's all done. Um, I'm a horrible letterer, meaning the guy mm -hmm. who, who puts the, le the words in the comic book. Right. I'm really bad at it. I'm right. working on that. So my <laughs> there are only three words in my first story that I ever drew, but if you can follow my drawing, you can see what's going on. I've done my job. But um, and he loves it, and he told me another story about them fighting a giant cheese monster. And then when when I was done recording it, I looked at it and said, "Yeah, I can get twelve pages out of this." Okay. So that was the, so every time he's like, "Oh, so Daddy, when's issue two? I'm like, "We'll, we'll, we'll get there." We're well, working yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, you know, so it's... he, uh, you're an inspiration to your son, and he's an inspiration to you yes. because from he your just, interactions, he gives you ideas for stories. It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's where Pogi came from. Yes. They, yeah. both, they both came in to teach a summer reading program <laughs> workshop <laughs> last year. And it was fabulous because Nando came up and he said, oh, no, Dad, you do it this way. It was He's shy. The, oh, Free advice, yeah. right? Yeah. Precocious. <laughs> and he taught he taught just as well as Jan Mark did. He draws. He draws very well. And... I'm just like, yeah, you're probably better than when I was at, at so seven. So just been, is that something they do at toddlerhood? They, you guys, both of you, uh, pick he's, like. He's, it's, it's amazing, and we have his old drawings, mm -hmm. and the more he draws now, and he has, he has these awesome ideas, that just blow my mind. I'm like, yeah, that, that's, we can make a book out of that, honey. And I know on <laughs> Facebook, I'm friends with John Soderberg, who is a, who is a sculptor in Sedona, and okay. his daughters were creating sculptures when they were mm -hmm. two or and yeah. under. 
Yeah, he's a phenomenal artist. Yes, and so I was just wondering if your son was like that. It's just something that was born in his daughters. I, I think, yeah, I think it's just, you know, if, oh, And they, then, they of course, emulate. their dad is a good teacher. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a good, you know, he practices, and we'll have drawing time, and, mm -hmm. you know, from there, it's just he can, and he's he'll make his little own little comic books, and he'll show me, and I'm like, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty nice. It's As nice. they call it, the chip off the old block. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah just like dad. Yeah, it's a little, little version of me that just goes, we're going to go draw this today. I'm like, okay, All right. let's, let's go do that. <laughs> All right. Well, it's time to take another break, okay. and so we will be right back in just a minute. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs? Just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? I can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Welcome back to Inside Cottonwood. We're with Ann Roberts and Jan Mark Quizumbing. Yes. I'm doing it fairly well yes, each time. Quite well, thank All you. Right. It's like, okay, so I've been known to murder people's last names and or first names, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm always happy when I, I do the bullseye and get it right. So a cosplayer, that was sort of a new term to me. Share a little bit about that. that. Well, cosplayers are people who um, have a passion for creating costumes, dressing up, and taking oh. on the personas of their favorite comic or manga characters. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and a lot of people have actually made careers out of it, which is very interesting. Um, there's um, a gentleman who's with the Arizona Avengers um, who dresses up like Iron Man, Tony Stark, and he goes to the hospitals down in the Phoenix area and um, visits the children and just makes their day. So we're very, very excited to have cosplay coming to our comic expo because they add a flair, a flavor, you know, the, the children will go, oh my goodness, that's Spider-Man walking by, or oh my goodness, that was Superman, or, um, you very know, all these characters. The yeah. children yes. will be, that sounds like just an an awesomely fun day for the kids. It is. Yeah. And it the big be. kids, the yes. adults. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, you get big kids like my husband who, right. um, you know, he, he does this Spaceman character. So he show, made us, these. show us a few of these. Sure. Go ahead and pull um, These are out. some of his roughs for a comic that he is working on right now called Atomic Cattle Drive. It's about aliens who uh, live in the Old West. So it's kind of a funny concept. Mm -hmm. And here's another one. Okay. Um, but it also has a tie-in to his Buster Cooper character, which is his spaceman that he is based off of himself and my son Daniel Paul. Um, so when you come to the Comic Expo, you will see them both wearing our space helmets that my husband okay. has made, which is part of his cosplaying, and their that spaceman, is... retro spaceman uniforms. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I love that. Thank you. Helmet. Is that what you call it? Yes. A helmet? Yes, a space helmet. He had a lot of fun figuring out how to make that. This part's actually the light fixture for a lamp, an oh, outdoor lamp. And okay. Yeah, I he, would have never known that. He fabricated that all himself. I'm very proud. Of him. <laughs> I would have, that's really fantastic. So he's looking forward to this day also. Yes, he likes any chance he can dress up. <laughs> okay, your son, is he interested in this drawing and that he's sort of thing? He's more interested in the cosplay aspect. He okay. loves uniforms and costumes and creating props, and he's constantly taking things apart and remaking them into something for a costume or a uniform. So mm -hmm. that's where his passion lies so more you than all the drawing. Are kind of like in it together Absolutely. in different ways. But it's so important to 
foster that creativity in kids, which is you know one of the reasons I love working at the library mm -hmm. and having friends like Jen Mark because we can promote these wonderful creative things that kids can't get anywhere else. Absolutely. I mean, I've, this is the first time I've heard of it, and I've lived in Cottonwood for 30 years, <laughs> so it's very exciting to think that the children have this opportunity and the adults. Absolutely. We can't yes. about the big kids. Yes, but, exactly. But, but tell me a little bit about the program at the Cottonwood Library, the youth program. I know that we put a lot of resources into serving our children and youth. Yes. Well, we, we really want to focus on the library being a safe place for them to explore their creativity, to learn, and just expand their horizons because, you know, the school budgets are so limited anymore mm -hmm. and they have to cut programs like art and music and right. that sort of thing. So we have a music program at the library. We have story times. Um, we're working on ways to get more books that will help kids step into reading. Comic books is a fabulous resource for that because it's not intimidating like right. a big book. They can look at the pictures and figure out what's going on, which is really a basic component of, of learning how to read. Learning to read. Right. So, and then we have art. We have Jan Mark doing his drawing class, which is just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, we have the, the SciTech program, um, which is going to be really wonderful. We're doing um, a program for that the day before the Comic Con, so we're going to be very busy that weekend. So that is um, on April 8th, yes. from 3.30 to 5.30 at the mm -hmm. Cottonwood Public Library Youth Services. Yes. And they're going to have a variety of, um, there's going to be, the, like last year, and the kids love this. I mean, last year it was like one of the most well-attended events in the city with yes. the libraries. We were very busy. Yeah, <laughs> and so Mars Bound and Astro Board Astro Bio Board. Uh -huh. Okay. We have a lot of really wonderful things um, that we're going to be presenting. We've got new STEAM kits, mm -hmm. um, which are um, little kits where they can learn about electricity, like with the Snap Circuit kits. We're going to have a Spirograph. We've got a bunch of new ones that. Um, have magnetic science and engineering, so they're building things. So we're going to have all of our kits out in our program room. <coughs> we're going to have um, the Maker Mars program where we give them the scenario, well, you have to live on Mars. These are the conditions. Mm -hmm. Here's cool. a bag of stuff. What can you make that will help you survive? That could be a cartoon. So it could be a cartoon. <laughs> I, think, I think it was a cartoon. <laughs> we should get together on that. <laughs> so, and then we're going to have some board games. Um, we were fortunate enough to be sent to um, a symposium with the Mars Education program down at ASU, mm -hmm. which works on, um, they're making a big camera for a, a probe that's going to go check out some asteroids real soon, which is really neat. So um, they gave us some wonderful lesson plans, and we're going to be using some of that for that day, too. So it should be a really neat event. So we've got two great events that for people to come exciting. to. That sounds exciting. So Arizona SciTech Festival on the 8th, yeah. and the Verde Valley Comic Expo. 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 Yes. The Verde Valley Comic Expo on the 9th. Mm -hmm. That's a Saturday. Yes. yes. Tell me what time. It's going to be from 10 until 5. Okay, from 10 a.m. until 5 yes. at the Cottonwood Recreation yes. Center. Yes. So bring the family in. They can yep. go swimming. They can go play ball. And they can come to the Comic Expo yep. and, and just spend the whole day at the Rec Center. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and they'll get to meet, you know, we have. So we, one of the artists who's coming up is Marat Michaels, who's worked on uh, X-Force, Deadpool, which is now a very popular movie right now, mm -hmm. um, Grifter, which is another comic book character, uh, Michael Gallagher, who's a writer, he did Guardians of the Galaxy, he wrote for Mad Magazine, mm -hmm. um, Alf, Exciting. the Alf, remember the TV show Alf well, in the 80s, oh, he, yes. wrote, he wrote for the comic book mm -hmm. Alf, he's written for Archie, um, I think he, he wrote some spy versus spy stories, mm -hmm. when I found all this out from... Um, for another artist, Dave Beatty, who's going to be there, who's worked on um, Wonder Woman, Justice League uh, of America, Batman Incorporated, and they're all and you know they're local people. You know, I know Marat, Marat's in the Valley, but they're uh, famous people, worldwide famous people, but, but they, they're, they're they live here. in our area. So yes. it's it's nice, you know, coming from uh, the East Coast, coming here and knowing that oh yeah, no, there are other there are people who have worked in the industry. Literally right next door to me in the next town over. So it's very, it's it's amazing that 
if you're a fan of comic books and you know, like, like I said, Guardians of the Galaxy, Wonder Woman, Batman, if you know these characters, you can meet the people who've worked on those books. That's amazing. That's sound. I'm going to be. I'm going to be coming to visit. Okay, oh, you better. <laughs> Come be a, a, a costume. Okay. <laughs> we we can, we can that would be as myself, maybe. That's okay. Put a little cape on. Yeah. Oh, you know, I, I could see the cape. Sure. Yeah. The mayor's cape. Yeah. Huh? Yes. <laughs> so just before we have just another minute, but tell me some more about your classes. If somebody would want to take your class, how would they do that? Um, you can come to the library. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll be the first Saturday of every month from April to the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're doing it to 11 o'clock. I believe so. 11 till uh, 1 o'clock. So it's a two-hour class. Mm -hmm. um, it's for ages 8 and above. So okay. grown-ups are welcome to come. Um, parents are like, well, you know, if my child is an eight, I'm like, well, if your child can sit and pay attention for for two hours and you know can just follow along, mm -hmm. great, you know. And if not, mm -hmm. at least if they're just they might just sit and observe, great. Mm -hmm. But you come and I will teach you how to draw. Like I said, um, uh, we'll work on the human anatomy, like the you know one head and then the chest is three heads. Mm, and, okay. You know, you work a proportion. Mm -hmm. I like to try to I, hands and feet are the two things we're going to draw definitely mm -hmm. because you should always know how to draw your hands and your feet. <laughs> And um, you can bring your own supplies if you want to, but usually the library will have papers and pencils. But mm -hmm. um, when in doubt, the dollar store is your best friend. You can go there, get a pack of pencils and two sketch pads for like three bucks. Mm -hmm. And I'll, you know, and usually if there's nothing else going on, I usually just will hang out afterwards and just will work on some stuff. And if people have are people, if people are drawing and they want to, they want to show me, hey, this is what I'm working on. I'm I love to see that. You know, if That's you great. it just it helps encourage encourage. Um, an artist's talent. Mm -hmm. So we're about finished with our time and um, just want to say thank you. We also have this poster here. The Cottonwood Public Library presents the Verde Valley Comic Expo where comics and pop culture meet. Yes. So it's going to be April 9th from 10 to 5 and everyone is invited and we yes. hope everyone in the Verde Valley this isn't, isn't just a Cottonwood event. This is for the whole Sedona, Verde Valley. Everybody's welcome to come yeah. and have yes, a good we'd time. Love to see them there. Please, yeah. Okay. Well, that's our show for today. And that's the way it is in Cottonwood. See you later. Mm -hmm.